Welcome to Akhenaten, Pharaoh's capital city. This is a long-term, huge city project, like several thousand blocks on a side project that I'm going to be working on for probably um, years, really. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to be releasing several incomplete downloads of things I've got so far, and I'm very close to releasing the first one. I just want to make a few uh, more changes for our release aversion. Uh, but in the meantime, you can follow my progress on my YouTube channel here. I'll be releasing fairly regular video updates of uh, this city and changes I make to it. Um, right here where we were standing, this is the current spawn point I've got for this map in front of the pyramid guarded by two sphinxes. Uh, this pyramid, which you've already seen, it's, it's to scale of the Great Pyramid at Giza. I think mine is just a couple of blocks taller. Um, but it's basically the same size. And I've made some changes in that we'll look at here in a minute. Uh, but when you spawn in, you'll be looking at our Age of Empires themed town center we have going on here. With our nether portal over there. Uh, it's in um, it's in roughly the uh, same shape as a Stargate. I thought that kind of fit the theme I'm going for here. Uh, hopefully no Gould or Jaffa will march through the portal and leave us alone. Uh, it sits between the two obelisks here. And there's staircases to get up and down. And we've got plenty of palm trees around here. Uh, trees are, and vegetation is generally going to be the last thing I add. So if it looks a little sparse, don't worry about that. Um, that will all be done as I complete areas and I'm sure I'm not going to change them. That's when I'll go back and I'll add in vegetation like this. Let's see, over here we have the facade of Pharaoh's Palace which we'll take a look at in subsequent videos. We'll just take a look at the entrance for now. We've got Sphinx on each side and four large statues somewhat reminiscent of uh, Abu Simbel. That's what I'm going for there. And we've got our gateway and the uh, burning cauldrons here with the nether rack and the doorway. Ooh, spooky. Uh, which we're not going to go in on this episode. That's going to get its own episode. Uh, I want to make a, lot, a bit more progress before I go in there. And, um, well, by the ocelots roaming around, you can tell this is set to jungle biome. I may change it to forest. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, it was default desert, but that made the trees look very drab. So uh, I changed that. And here around the town center, we've got these little pavilions to shield us from the sun, a little anyway. Uh, but they have um, openings in the roof and everything here to let in natural light so it won't be dark and spawn a bunch of mobs down there. We've got two of those on either side. And around over here, we've got our government center that you've seen on the previous video, probably. It's um, it's modeled on the building from Age of Empires. Uh, before you ask, yes, I am going to build all the other buildings from Age of Empires to put in this city. Uh, but that's going to be a long-term project, so I'll release them as I get them finished. Uh, I've got a couple more I'm working on now, but they're not they're not quite complete. Just some more details I want to add. And some more pharaoh statues and sphinx guarding this uh, uh, processional avenue we've got going on here. That leads straight from the uh, Great Pyramid all the way down here. And uh, we'll just go down here a little ways and give you a peek about what's down here. It looks like we have a couple of more pyramids down here. Hmm, I wonder what's inside those. 
Um, currently nothing is inside them, but uh, there there will be something inside of them. I always had to put something in my pyramids. Over here we have... Um, I think this is going to be sort of a... It's either going to be a courthouse or a library or a marketplace. I'm not, I'm, I'm not real sure what it's going to be yet. It looks cool, though. That's, that's entirely uh, the reason I built it. That's usually how most of my buildings start out, actually. I'll build something I think looks cool, and then I'll find a use for it later. And if we go along over here... This is the entrance to uh, the Mysterious Temple project, which is pretty much just a very large Egyptian temple. But this one has um, all the key features of Egyptian temples. We've got the Avenue of Sphinxes, the uh, doorway here, several large obelisks standing outside, and several giant statues of Pharaoh. Um, uh, for, 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 for. Uh, I'm not sure what his name is. I can't really pronounce it yet. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll show you how these uh, gateways work, and I'll give you a peek inside the temple. And ju into just the uh, first courtyard. There's several successive courtyards. So they're all subject to change. Uh, as is this hallway, this is just a blank granite thing, but I'm going to make this better. And just a, a little peek inside here, I think. Yep, yep, that's as far as we go. We can't be caught inside the temple. I don't think we're authorized to be in there. Uh, but where we can go inside is the pyramid. Which I'm making some. I'm gonna make some changes to the interior of this pyramid and re and re-release the download. I think there's some things in here I want to change. And we'll hop up. I wish I had um, half slabs for this. I know they're releasing. In the new update, they're releasing half slabs for a lot of these blocks, but the problem with that for me is I can't, I can't, I can't use them. I mean, I would love to use them, but I would have to update this map to 1.14 when it comes out, and it's 1.12, which is, I'm, I'm stuck on that until they update MC Edit, uh, because that's how I build all of my cities, pretty much. It's the tool that uh, I have to use is uh, MC Edit. I can't use anything in the game because it's just not powerful enough for my needs. So I'm going to change uh, this hallway too, and we will go inside the pyramid here. Looks pretty much uh, exactly like the previous video, except there's some changes up here. I decided that this would be the absolute best place to have the end portal. And uh, you can apparently have beacons coming out of your end portal, which is nice. Um, I'm going to put some Egyptian structures in the nether and the end, but uh, they're just blank right now. I've just been in there to generate the dimension and kill the dragon, get rid of him, so I could have something to work with. And uh, let let me uh, have a night vision potion so we can see what's going on in here a little bit more clearly. Alright, there we go. Uh, it takes away all the mood lighting. Um, but it'll give you a uh, good idea of the interior structure of this, which is probably kind of dark in the other video I made. I think I'm probably going to modify these columns a bit and these uh, projections here and do something with that. We can make the interior of this somewhat better, I think. Um, I do like the ceiling, though. I'm, I'm pleased with how that's come out. 
and I think I think I came in that way so we will exit this side of the pyramid and I'll give you an idea of what's on the other side of that through all these three by three doors they're pretty much uh, they're an etho design I just straight copied it I'm not any good with redstone so here we are it's night time and we have another avenue of sphinxes on this side currently I may replace these I'm not sure they're rather big uh, they're impressive but um, I'll have to think about it if you have an opinion let me know we'll go up a little bit and I have uh, two smaller town centers flanking the pyramid over here I thought that looked good And as you can see over here, we've got yet more pyramids over here. This is the Red Pyramid. And over here we have um, some tall and very pointy pyramids. They're designed after the Pyramids of Kush. Uh, they're not going to stay here. They're going somewhere else in the city. And over here we have the Black Pyramid of obsidian and bedrock. Yep, nobody's going to be breaking into that. So, this is a preview of Akedaten. And, um, like I said, there will be several more videos on this as I make progress with the build as time goes on. And I think next time we will look at the uh, temple. And the time after that, we'll look at uh, Pharaoh's palace over here. And we'll take a more uh, extensive tour around the city. And we'll get to see it uh, at night here a little. I've only got a little light around here. Just some um, uh, fire cauldrons I put down. Uh, there's going to be more lighting on this. The lighting, uh, along with a, um, along with trees and lighting, is the last things I'll do after I finish building something, and then, and then it's done. But anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this tour of the city, and uh, I will see you next time.